Good morning children. Today we are going to discuss the exercise of foolish frogs. Okay, so let us all take page number 11. So let's all start with the first exercise. That's write T for true and F for false for these sentences. Let's read the first sentence. The snake was young and hungry. Is it a true or false statement? If it's true, you can write T in the blank or if it's false, then you can write F. So think and write, was the snake young and hungry? The correct answer is, it's a false statement. Second one, the frogs were happy with each other. Is it true or false? The correct answer is true. Third one, the snake was truthful. The correct answer is false. Fourth one, the snake launched to eat the frogs. Is it true or false? It's a true statement. Now let's see the fifth one. The frog king chased the snake away. Is it true or false? It's a false. So now let us all move on to the question answer. Let's see the first question. What were the frogs doing one sunny day? What they suddenly see? The frogs were playing with the frog prince one sunny day, they suddenly saw an old snake that had come up to them. Let's see the second one. What was the curse that the snake spoke about? The curse was that the snake would carry frogs on his back for the rest of his life. The curse was put on him when he had once bitten a holy man. Let's see the next question. How can we say that the frogs believe the snake? We can say that the frogs believe the snake because they happily jumped on the snake's back for a ride and even the frog prince joined in. How do we know that the snake became strong day by day? We know that the snake was becoming stronger because his rides became faster Earlier he was moving very slow, very slowly as he was weak from hunger. Let's see the last question. When did the king realize his mistake? The king realized his mistake when he could not see any of his subjects. The snake had eaten them up all. Okay. The snake was sly and cunning. Justify this sentence with examples from the story. So let's see the answer for this. It's a bit bigger answer, but let's understand the answer. The snake was indeed sly and cunning. He told the young frogs a lie that he was cursed by a holy man that he would have to carry frogs on his back all his life. Then he took them, including the prince, for a ride on the river and showed them amazing things. He then cunningly told them that they must go home as he was tired. When he dropped the frog prince home, the king and queen were shocked. But the snake told his clever lie again. They were tempted to go for a ride on his back. This was all part of the snake's plan. So he set off with them but moved slowly. When they asked him why, he said that he was old and hadn't, had not eaten for days. He asked the king to allow him to eat one of his subjects every day. The foolish king agreed and the snake took them for a ride every day, each day devouring a frog closest to him. A day came when there was no frog left. Ultimately, the snake gobbled up the royal family too. This is what we learn from the story, right? This is this last question answer they have given as a whole story from the beginning. They have justified the answer. Now, let's take the next page, 
page number 11 sorry page number 12 let's look into the exercise some colloquial words are given in the box as you can see on the screen find their formal counterparts in the word grid now we have to find the formal counterparts for the word which are given in the box okay so we have made no smashing grams for photograph and grub so children you can try to find the answers from the word grid you can pause the video you can try doing it and after that once done come back we'll discuss the answer so i hope you have done it let's discuss the answer for the same now let's see for the first word mate so for the word mate the formal word would be friend okay you can see here so you have to circle friend okay next word is nope for nope no okay so do as i'm showing in the screen third one smashing it's brilliant now for grams it's grandfather you can see here in the last second last okay next is photograph there is a printing mistake actually the photograph should come inside the word grid it's actually a form, uh, formal word for the uh, colloquial word of photograph is pick okay so by mistake the photograph has come in the clue and pick has come in the word grid so you can circle this pick for the photograph okay and now for the last word grub the answer is food okay so hope you have found this and you have accordingly you have circled now let's see the other exercise we have to add prefixes or suffixes to the word given to make a new word follow the examples given okay so now what you have to do is children you can pause the video as we have already learned about the prefixes and suffixes so kindly try to do it for the words given here once you are done come back we'll discuss the answer for the same so hope you have done it now let's see the answer for the same the so first one is dishonest second unlearn third one it's miss interpret okay sportsman sportsman ship acknowledge acknowledgement and child childhood so you can see here and you can write down the correct answer if you have not got it so let's move on to the next exercise substitute the underlined words with suitable pronouns and rewrite the sentences so here children you can see on the screen as well we have to substitute the underlined word with the suitable pronouns so as we have already learned about the pronouns and ab about the types of pronouns also right personal possessive and demonstrative so likewise we have to read each one of these sentences and the we have to replace the underlined word words with the suitable pronouns now let's see the first one this is my book so instead of that my book it's underlined you can see so instead of that we can write it as this is mine so this is mine okay 
this is my book instead of that this is mine okay so now children let's see the second one rishi has bought a new pen so this you can try to do by yourself you can do it okay that underlined word is rishi right instead of that you can use suitable pronouns and rewrite the sentence likewise let's see the third one anuj and ravi are working together on the project fourth one these are her notes fifth one this is my bicycle and that is your bicycle so just look into the words underlined and instead of that as i've already shown you try to write the suitable pronouns for the same let's see the last harsh and i will attend the event in the evening so i hope you have tried doing it by yourself if not then please look into the screen i'll show you the second one is rishi has bought a new pen instead of rishi you can write he has bought a new pen okay the correct answer new pen okay now the second one anuj and ravi are working together on the project so instead of anuj and ravi you can write it as they are working together on the project so they are working together on the project okay so likewise these are her notes so you can write these are hers so you can write full these are hers let's see the next one this is my bicycle and that is your bicycle so this is mine and that is yours so this is mine and that is yours that is yours now harsh and i will attend the event in the evening so instead you can write we will attend the event in the evening so i will write it here we will we will in the evening now let's move on to the next exercise circle the incorrect relative pronouns and rewrite the sentences correctly okay so here we have to circle the incorrect relative pronouns and we have to circle that and we have to write the sentence with using the correct pronouns okay so rewrite the sentence we have to like, let's see the first one now she is the girl whom top the exams now read it and see what's the mistake in it she is the girl whom top the exams so we can find the mistake in the first sentence that is this whom here you can circle this word 
and again you have to rewrite using the correct pronoun now let's see she is the girl who topped the exams so the correct answer will be you have to write the full sentence just i'll write the answer here that is who instead of whom it will be who so you have to write it as she is the girl who topped the exams so write the full sentence again in the blanks like she is the girl who topped the exams okay so i hope you got the first one likewise you try doing the second third fourth fifth and sixth try to find at least the uh, incorrect relative pronouns from the sentence and circle it we will discuss the correct answer for it so you can pause the video for now you can try doing it okay and then come back so hope you have done it now let's see the answer for the rest of the sentences okay second one the park who we play in is near my home so what's the mistake here the incorrect word is the park who so circle that what we have to write instead of who the park where okay the park where the answer is where we play in is near my home okay again i told you write the full sentence don't write like this write the full sentence rewrite it again instead of who you have to write where as i have written in the blank so how you'll write the park where we play is in is near my home now let's see the next one third one do you know anything about the work who he was doing so which is the uh, incorrect word it's again who so circle who how the answer will be do you know anything about the work which he was doing okay which he was doing got it now let's see the fourth one rajat who came to the party yesterday is her mother sorry her brother so what's the mistake here who's so circle who's rajat who came to the party so the answer will be rajat who came to the party yesterday is her brother so hope you are writing it along with me now let's see the fifth one the neighborhood in whom i live is quite beautiful so the neighborhood what will be the answer the neighborhood in which i live is quite beautiful so circle the word whom write again the full sentence the neighborhood in which okay the correct answer is the neighborhood in which i live is quite beautiful let's see the last one she entered the building whose has been empty for some time now so what is the correct answer for this she entered the building which has been empty for some time now circle this word who and you have to write what instead of that which okay which has been empty for some time now so i hope children you got the answers for all let's move on to the next page that is page number 14 punctuation rewrite these sentences with commas inserted at the correct places so this one this exercise you can do it as a homework let's see the next one writing imagine that the king in the story had understood the snake's plan so what do you think would happen then write the ending in your own words so imagine that the king we read about the story we saw that the frog king was not knowing about the plan of the cunning snake suppose imagine like that the king knows the plan of the snake and how the story will end that you write in your own words in your english notebook and do send us the picture of the same to our whatsapp number so do this as a homework as well okay punctuation as well as the writing part do it as a homework and do send it to us so by this we are ending our chapter we'll meet in the next class till then bye